that they're being studied. For example, if I were to interview you, you know, do, give you a survey so that I could find out about some of your lifestyle patterns or what have you, and I ask you, you know, maybe a question that you feel sensitive about, you know, what's your screen time every day? Something like that. Somebody might have a little bit of shame around that if they know it's not very good, so they might lie. They might give you, you know, we'll say, let's say maybe on average someone spends four or five hours a day on their screen. But then there are a couple of days where it's more like two or three. I'm like, oh, well, yeah. Let me just say that I spend about two or three, because that's true. There are days I spend two or three. It could also be unconscious. Sometimes if you know that uh, you're being observed, sometimes when people enter in to participate in a study where you're kind of tracking your lifestyle habits and the way you eat, the way you exercise, knowing that you're going to report these events and these habits to somebody else might subconsciously you know, make you more inclined to be healthier, to be better. And then you don't get quite an accurate representation of your actual habits, your actual lifestyle, and that can kind of skew the results of this study.